Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Two Guys Ooh, Podcast. Yeah. Hi. Oh, um. I'm Jaden. Hello, That's flat earthers. Hello, non robots. I'm Jaden. That's and Nico. Robots. And robots. And robots, yeah. yeah um, I'm Nico. That's Jaden. I'm Jaden. That's Nico. We're the two guys. This is our podcast. This is the thanks podcast. We're two guys. Um, yeah, thanks for coming. So, um, it is Thursday, November the 12th. 12 of the this episode will come out on sunday november the not 12th 15th you have a mustache filter on i do have a mustache filter on (laughs) they keep squishing when you go behind your your um behind your pop filter it like rotates weird and stuff yes it looks very wonderful it's for movember you should it put looks, one on too. Oh, okay. Wait, how do I do it? <laughs> Go to video settings. And then uh, background and filters. And it's in studio effects. Bracket beta. Close bracket. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Background and filters. Background and filters. It should be in. Whoa! My desk. <laughs> it should be in like the bottom right corner. Studio oh, effects. Video. Wait, of studio. What? Have you? Do you have the latest update? I might not have the latest. You clown! Update. You clown! It's, well, I'm uh, sorry. Okay. Anyways, but I can still do this. <laughs> and you cannot. Yeah, I still can't do that. I updated and everything. I can't flip my video. Maybe in. it's because I have an older version that I can do that. I don't know. I don't know. It's stupid. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, thanks for coming along, guys. We've got a great show lined up for you this week. That's correct. That's correct. So we're going to start it off with um, Florida, I think. Or no, wait, this was California. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, maskless man ejected from Disney's Hollywood studios while screaming misquotes from Pixar's A Bug's Life. Nice. <laughs> We've seen some stuff at the parks in the past few months, but nothing tops today's scene at Disney's Hollywood Studios, where a man was escorted out of the park for not wearing a mask. As security removed him from the park, he screamed misquotes from Pixar's A Bug, li- a bu- bug-, a bug Life. A Bug's Life. Um, bug life. You can see it in the video that we're not going to play, um, but if you want it, it's out there. Just Google it. Um, Wait, which one is A Bug's Life again? That's the one where it's like, it's it's the ants and they're all oppressed by the like, grasshoppers and then there's these caterpillars that poop and the can't ants eat the poop i watched it when i was like six so i'm you know just stating the parts that i remember i don't know if i've seen it or not i keep thinking like like my initial thought is ant bully but i know that's not it ant bully which was also kind of a weird movie i wait i feel like i've seen i feel like i might get those confused as well yeah. ant bully okay. Cause there's ants in that one. That's yeah. That's the one where the dude like yeah. Like shrinks. Yeah. Ma- oh, and maybe this is the one with the poop. Maybe the caterpillar poop. I uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, this was not from the ant bully. Um, the man is being nope. escorted by at least three uniformed security officers. Uh, where'd my zoom go? There it is. Um, with more planes, clothes officers than grab an area grab. Grave Avenue, Grand Avenue area of the park. He's yelling at watching guests, trying to convince them to join him. Near the end of the video, he distinctly yells, Remember the movie that came out at Walt Disney World? It was called A Bug's Life. Remember Hopper? He said, if one guy stands up, one ant stands up. <laughs> in a failed attempt to stir up a rebellion of sorts against face masks. He's referencing two scenes in A Bug's Life. The first is when Hopper, the film's villain, talks about Flick trying to stand up to him. He states, you let one ant stand up to us, then they all might stand up. <laughs> this is what happens at the end of the film when the ants realize they're more of him than they're grasshoppers. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it didn't so, yeah, work, I it guess. It didn't work. Uh, it would have been very inspiring for some if he had gotten it right. For some ants. But hey. He probably had a bunch of ants coming to try to <laughs> help him, but. No, just one. Uh, yes. As we all know, if one ant stands up, one man stands up. 
Ding. <laughs> An ant just stood up. <laughs> so I had to stand up. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Man. I wish I wasn't graduated. I would have made that my grad quote. When <laughs> one <laughs> ant stood up. One man. <laughs> Speaking of people doing stupid things, so we've we've determined that Floridians are um, not wise. We've determined that Californians are also not super geniuses. But you know who else is really stupid? And here's where we start to pick on ourselves a little bit. Us gamers. Oh, you know why? Why? Because Microsoft had to beg gamers not to blow vape smoke into the new Xbox. Nice. So, you know, we've if you're a gamer, which I know every single one of our audience is. Mhm. Like 100%. We have yeah. we have like the stats from from Spotify and everything. Yeah, and it says and gamers. A, there's there's like a pie chart male, that female, says everyone gamers. Yeah, there's the pie chart. The three options are male, female, and gamer, and it's all yellow for gamer. Yeah. Anyways, um, it's actually more like a green yellow. It's like the it's like it's like Mountain Dew yellow. Mountain Dew yellow. Exactly. For gamers. <laughs> so, yeah, that I don't know if I actually want to read this whole article, but that's you know <laughs> headline. Um, nice. <laughs> Uh, several videos circulated online showing consoles letting out a steady steam of white smoke wake out of their top exhaust fans and plug on reports they appear to be results of owners blowing vapor from electronic cigarettes into the console <sighs> don't do that yep. because you, you know why you can't do that why can't you do that because if one ant stands up one, one man, man stands, stands up, up. <laughs> <laughs> but since you guys are all um, stuck probably in your own country right now Here's some essential things to know when traveling to Egypt for the first time. Okay. I don't All of us grew up uh, listening to stories about the Great Pyramids of oh yes. Egypt and the luxurious life of the kings and queens. Yep. I can I can vouch for that. I did. I mean like I actually kind of had nightmares about it. I really did oh, dream about it. About pyramids? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> If you have gone through several uh, through several articles already, you must have got valuable information about this country. However, because Egypt is drenched in history and culture, there's a lot you need to know. In this, in this feature, we will guide you through essential things. Blah, 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 blah. One, security is an issue. Contrary to what you may what what you must have read or heard, security is a major concern in Egypt. There's no running away from, from the stories related to the high-profile attacks on the Egyptian citizens and tourists. In simple words, Egyptian. no country is safe yeah. when extremists are around. So, true. take precautions. Yep. Um, so, number two. Tipping is part of the popular culture. Because of low salaries in this country, <laughs> tipping has become fall over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, tipping has become mandatory in Egypt. Wow, mandatory. Um, don't forget to carry a small change when you decide to visit the p- this place. You will frequently come across baggage handlers offering you their services. It is best if you can tip them well because it, it, w- it is what helps them to make good money for themselves throughout the month. Um, you only have to spend between 15 to $20 every day on tipping your tour guide. Wow. That's... Okay. Mm. Um... So yeah, make sure you give each each person a tip. You just come up to them and you go, You tackle them. No, you just tip a them. A big fat tip. <laughs> the summer months are hot. They're Egypt? strong. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah, I know. No. I wouldn't have guessed it, but anyways, there's a strong reason why people despise visiting Egypt during the summer season. This is because of the scorching heat of the sun. Makes it impossible for us to visit. I thought it was scorching heat from the core, actually. Oh, from the um, sun? Yeah. Wait. You know what's weird? The core is closer to us than the sun. So why is it hotter when you go closer to the sun? Wait, maybe that's why it's cold on like mountains and like the top of mountains and stuff. It's going further away from the core. But it's closer to the sun. But the sun is further away, so the closer you go, the but less. But it's closer. 
the farther you Listen get away from here. the Listen <laughs> here. When one man stands up, one ant stands up. <laughs> um. So yeah, May to August is pretty hot there. Yeah, but it is much cheaper to travel there during those times. Yeah. Um. Don't use the drone facility. Just don't use the facility. Yeah. Um, if you're a professional photographer or like to capture high quality videos, is it best for you to leave your drone at home? E- uh, Egypt deserves a strict ban on the use of the aerial vehicles. If you if you sift through the web, you can come across several stories of people being caught by the cops and heavily fined. Um, not heavily tipped, heavily fined. <laughs> In some severe cases, you might end up going to jail. Would you rather be tipped or fined? Uh, probably tipped. <laughs> yeah. Um, be prepared to come across a military presence everywhere. That's because you're under, that's because you're under arrest. Arrest. <laughs> yeah. Um, Egyptian security personnel are omnipresent. At, wow. And you will not find a single spot where they aren't around people. When entering any major landmarks, your bags will be scanned and you will be made to walk through the security gates. In such a situation, you don't need to panic and just go with the flow. But what if you accidentally... If you accidentally have a gun or something, you know? Yeah, what if you accidentally have, like, two tons of military-grade uranium? Yeah. Like, what do you do then? Like, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Well. But, yeah, there you I go. Now you can all travel to Egypt. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, Let us know in the comments if you're going to head to Egypt now that you know what to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll come uh, with. Anyways. Whoa! My desk again. Um, so we all know that um, this year kind of sucked. You know, so far. Past yeah. ten and a half months. But I have I found something good. Fat Bear Week 2020 has crowned a worthy champion. Okay. <sighs> In a year that's seen the postponing of such celebrated events as Olympics, Coachella, and the European Song Contest? Have you ever heard of that? The European Song Contest? No, it honestly sounds a little bit lame. <laughs> <laughs> okay, detour. Detour. No offense. European Song Contest. The Euro Eurovision Song Contest is an international song competition organized annually by Europe. Okay. Uh, anyways, back to the fat bears. Um, the Katmai National Park in Alaska is home to some of the planet's chunkiest bears. We can check them out on the bear cam, which I'm doing right now. Nice. A live bear cam. Is it live? Or is it just... Oh my goodness, it's live. Oh my goodness. Send me a link. I want to see the bears. I'm sharing my screen. Okay, that works. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, bears! Uh, they're huge. Bears are actually massive, and they're just they're just chilling there with the seagulls. They're waiting for. Oh, there was a there was a fish that d- jumped, and it, oh, it didn't get eaten by a bear yet. Um. Wow, this is. If you guys want to check this out, it's available at um. No, let me see the link. Let me see the link. Can you see the link? My no. Zoom control board is in the way. Um, explore.org slash live cams. Slash brown bear slash brown bear salmon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, meditation. Do you want to see bears meditating? Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... <laughs> Wow. wow. Very meditating. He looks like he's meditating. <laughs> Anyways, know. okay. I, okay, I really like when um bears when they eat. Like their like their nose and their mouth and lips they just are like <laughs> like at Marine Land. People would you can get popcorn to give them, so they toss it over the edge and they catch Wait. it. There were bears in Marine Land? Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. They're not marine creatures. Yes, they are. That doesn't make any sense. 
They are marine creatures. No, they're bro. not. Yes, they're they not. are. They're not. They're not. They're, they're not. not land animals. They are ocean Bears animals. <laughs> can barely swim, especially they can not seven four seven, who was the fattest bear in the world. He took down two bears to reach the final, where he came out on top against a promising contender who was named Chunk, with forty seven thousand three hundred votes, becoming this year's champion. Much like his namesake, Plain Seven Four Seven is a very large and wide bodies bear whose portfolio of photos is all you need to see. Okay, I need to find him. There's no pictures of Seven Four Seven. Okay, um, I'm looking him up. Seven Four Seven bear. Woo! Oh my goodness! Oh my! Wow! He is chunky. <laughs> He's huge. He looks like Daddy Pig <laughs> from Peppa Pig. He barely has any legs. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a wiener dog of bears. <laughs> <laughs> goodness! Oh my! Is he obese? Like, is that healthy? <laughs> um. Can bears even get obese? Can bears I mean, they kind of do before <laughs> every hibernation. Bears can be obese. Bears can be obese and healthy, <laughs> according to science. If only we could achieve. <laughs> <laughs> How can bears gain so much girth without occurring health problems? Um, because of science. I don't want to okay. read all that. Um, hey, speaking of bears... Here's a Bears convenience store crime spree halted. If that the was bear seven, robbed the seven, convenience store three times at a, in a Safeway once. What? He robbed them? <laughs> he robbed them? How dare he? Yeah. Um. He he robbed he robbed three um he robbed a convenience store three times and a Safeway once um. What did he take? I don't know. Probably the chocolate milk. Yeah. Um. There's a 16 year old male bear was relocated to the wilderness and outfitted with a GPS tracking collar. It's good. It's good. They're tracking him. Wow. The cops are onto him. <clears throat> the cops are onto um, him. What would you do if you're in um? You know, you're in your um. You know, like, you know, like you're, um, uh, you know, um, you're a convenience store, you know, and, um, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, and then, um, like, you know, you are you're in there, you know, and then the bear just comes in, you know, uh, yeah, you know, like, what do you do? You know, you, you just give it whatever it wants. If that, right, if that you know? means give it you, that's what you do. You, yeah. You know what? You're right. You know? Yeah. You know? I am, um, you know, uh, you know, yeah, you know, y- you know, though, like bears, you know, yeah, bears, the bears, they, they're actually, they're, they're actually oceanic animals, though. You Shut know. your mouth. I'm muting you. While Nico was muted, I'd like to take a moment to let everyone know that bears are not, in fact, oceanic creatures. They're oceanic. They're... <laughs> I'm sending him to the waiting room. Nico's now in the waiting room. Um. Again, I I'm telling you, bears are not oceanic creatures. They're land mammals. Land. They live on land. Okay, I'm letting him back in now. He's back in now. I hope he's learned his lesson. I just looked up. Are bears oceanic? Listen. You may be surprised to learn that the polar bear is actually considered a marine mammal. That's a polar bear. They're barely even bears. Bro, you're so... <laughs> While they're born on land, they spend most of their life on sea ice. This is where they hunt and mate. Polar bears are well equipped for Arctic life. A marine mammal, everyone. Bears, you heard it here first. Bears are are, aqua- are aquatic. <laughs> what, about a br- what about a brown bear? We were talking about brown hey, bears. Brown bears are just brown polar bears. <laughs> are brown bears marine Creatures. It's there's not even any articles that have marine <laughs> creature and brown bear in the same. Because it's simply common what? knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, guys. Let us know on our next post if if you think that brown bears are oceanic. And we'll leave it to a vote. Show this because that's always show a this idea. show this dingus of a uh, Jaden that they are clearly marine animals. <laughs> They're clearly not. Um. Anyways, yeah, we gotta we gotta skedaddle skedoodle. We gotta we're in we're in a hurry. We have Nico's, an uh, we have an important business meeting. Nico's got um, related to our sponsorship for yeah. Yeah. So we just got to nail that down for sure. Figure out a few um, just knots that are in the system. Yep. We haven't been receiving our chicken sandwiches daily. So that's kind of a problem. Yeah. Um, so thanks for listening, guys. If you did, if you didn't, um, what? Why are you here? <laughs> um, Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> How, what, what is this? <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. If, if we don't. you listen to us. <laughs> Always remember, if one man stands up, one ant stands up. <laughs> yeah, wait, we might, we might, if you guys want, we'll, we'll create a petition to change that to our ending quote instead of vibe on gamers. You know, I, I don't think we need a petition. I might just do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Okay, so you're, if yeah, one man stands up, one ant one stands, stands up. <laughs> we, 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 we got to do it as like one of us says the first part and then the other one says the second. Okay, or we both say it together. Okay. If, if one, one guy stands, <laughs> we were guy. in sync. It's not guy, it's man. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> if if one, one man stands, stands up, up, one, one ant stands, stands up. up. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, are we?